Hold on. Come on, Logan. Right, let's go. Ha! Right. Beautiful morning. It's half six. And day two of uh, women's Wimbledon qualifying today. So I'm really looking forward to it. But, listen, uh, my car's broke down, so I can't do my normal. So I can't do my normal lives from the car. So I'm doing them while walking the dog. So, listen. Is it working? Don't mess about. Right, yeah. So, listen. This is what make, doesn't make sense to me. Yes, it's completely obvious that a home uh, Grand Slam is going to promote its home players. But you need to... Tr I've, I've said this for many years and I'll keep saying it because it's true. In order to perform like an athlete, you've got to train like one. So if you don't train like one, regardless of tradition, regardless of getting a leg up, regardless of what anyone tells you, you cannot perform like an athlete. So you need to train like an athlete to perform like one. Now, there's two schools of thought, two, two real good schools of thought here. And I remember having a massive debate regarding a tennis player who, who got to the first round of Wimbledon and lost. And he said, you know, oh, that's a great achievement. And I said, it is a great achievement if that's where you set your sights. It's not a great achievement if it isn't where you set your sights. So everything's to do with perspective. And the perspective is, is well, your perspective is whatever you set your perspective to be. So if you set your perspective to be happy with, with that as a great achievement, then great. But if you set your achievement higher, you automatically um, almost achieve higher. And that, that was my point I was making. I wasn't saying that it wasn't a great achievement because it's a fantastic achievement and it's something that many, many thousands of people can't do or don't do. It, 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 like many thousands of people don't get that opportunity to qualify for a, a main draw of a Grand Slam, even if they go out the first round. But my point is, and my point always has been, look, tennis isn't about what you do do. It's about doing what you don't want to do. And that's when it becomes hard. And that's when it becomes making the big decisions. Now, for me, the, the, from the four British girls from the uh, British Academy, the, um, the LTA National Academy, the four British girls who entered, the one that really did herself proud, I mean, they've all done themselves proud, but they all got wild cards. So it's not like they all earned their way in. They all got wild cards. So, um, but it's still a good place to be. So let's get that straight. It's a great place to be. However, um, I only managed to watch the Ellen McDonald match, um, Ellen McDonald match, because the other matches weren't on. So I can't, say that I can't comment on the other girls' performances apart from what I watched on the, um, the Wimbledon uh, stats, which tells you how every point was won or lost and breaks it down to like double faults, unforced errors. You know, it gives you all that information, which is excellent, by the way. Wimbledon, the, the, the detail that they give for the match, I think was fantastic. Now... Ella McDonald, who I did see, you know, 
played obviously the toughest match against Coco Vanderway, who's you know a world top eight previous top eight player. And Coco said she wasn't happy with her performance, but <laughs> she might not be happy with her performance. But I've seen Coco Vanderway play, and that's about on par with most of her performances, bar a few, over the last four years. So she can't she can't stoke that up to she was having a bad day. She can only put that down to, um, you know, Ella wasn't going away like, like she should have done. And what made it um, really interesting to me, Ella had it on a racket. Now, obviously we know that Ella's dad understands uh, elite performance because he was the assistant manager of a Premier League club and managed himself. So he understands what is required to be a top, top, top athlete. Maybe the parents of at least two of the other girls don't. They don't understand. They think they do, but they don't. And, you know, their results show that. Um, the one other girl, the 14-year-old girl, uh, Ming Zhu, who was all over the papers... She was even on Radio 1 Extra. I was like, what's going on? She's on Radio 1 Extra. So um, Radio 1, uh, uh, having an interview. So well done her, well done. But it's funny how she came, came up against an American Chinese girl. Um, probably the worst kind of player for her to come up against. But uh, listen, I... I contrast it to this, and I've said this for many years, yeah, that we're, we're in the National Academy, yeah, you're competing against girls from all over the world, whereas it seems from an outsider, and from what I hear, that they're competing against girls who aren't in the Academy. So, for example, Victoria Jimenez, who won her match uh, on Tuesday, she won her match on Tuesday. What Victoria, when, when she was interviewed by John Inverdale, or was it Anki, uh, Anki Offerfarm? Listen to what she said, and this is what was massively important to me. She trains full time. She's the same age as three of the British girls who were in the same, same draw. Now, she came, and like I keep saying, you've got to roll deep. She came with her dad, grandparents, um, fitness coach, you know, and her dad trains her. And Anki Offerfunk asked her, um, you know, isn't it amazing what, what you're doing? And she's all, well, you know, my dad teaches me to work hard and be level-headed. And, and, you know, you can imagine that this girl is going to be a, a real good future tennis player because she already trains like an athlete. Does this make sense? So you can't, there's no way you can, it's like coming to the party with no drinks. That's, that's what the British girls are doing. They're coming to the party too late. It's too late before they start going full time. By which time these other girls, like Victoria Jimenez, I know Linda lost, but she still um, took the girl took the girl deep. So the, the, these other girls, these other sixteen-year-old girls from around the world, they're too far ahead. So my advice is, you got to start training like an athlete, girls. You got to start training properly. You got to start training full time. And tennis isn't a joke. Tennis is serious. So take it serious. Listen, like and subscribe. Have a good day. Can't see.